Hey Kid Point, my name is Jayana and I get the privilege of serving on the Kid Point team here at Life Point Church. We are so excited that you're joining us today for Kid Point Online. Each week we come together to see what it means to love God, help others, do your best, and have fun. Those are the four big things we do here in Kid Point each week, whether we're meeting in person or here online. But every month we have a one big thing that helps us do the four big things. And this month we're talking about, drum roll please, integrity. And integrity is choosing to be truthful in whatever you say and do. In just a few moments, we're gonna check out a true Bible story that's gonna show us what integrity looks like in our lives. And then at the end of our time together, we're gonna check out our God time cards. Our God time cards have four days worth of devotions that you and your family get to do together that keeps the conversation going at home. But first, we're gonna worship together. So go ahead and stand up on your feet and let's get ready to praise the Lord. One, two, three, yeah, let's begin.
dark became light I believe it, I believe it, yeah You spoke my name and my heart came to life I believe it, I believe it, yeah I wanna sing about it, I wanna scream and shout it My name is Brandon, and this is the so-and-so show because I'm so smart and so cool. Watch me do the robot. <laughs> oh. Thank you. But seriously, I can't do the show without John. He's the best co-host I could ask for. John may be the best co-host out of all the co-hosts in the country. Nay, the universe. It should be the John and John show. You should definitely tell John how awesome he is next time you see him, maybe in a tweet or a positively worded social media post. Hashtag John is the grooviest. John, what are you doing? Nothing.
Are you wearing the mask of me again? What mask? Hand it over. Come on, just a little more fun. No, it's confusing. Hand it over. Fine. Here. Thank you. What happens when I put this on? No. No. Brandon! Oh, uh, don't! <laughs> How do I look? Uh... My name is Brandon. And I'm John. And this is the So-and-So Show. <laughs> what was that? Oh, don't worry about it. It's this... It's got a phantom. A phantom? Yeah, you know, like the musical, the Phantom of the Opera, where there's a guy in a mask that wreaks havoc all over a Paris opera house. It's, it's like that, but... But here. Yeah. Huh. He's the phantom of my basement. <laughs> <laughs> it's really annoying. Why is he here? Please don't ask that. Oh, you will know, John. You will know very soon why I am here. <laughs> I, I hired an exterminator, but... But, um... <laughs> But, okay, okay, we get it. Should we um, invite him on? You know, maybe as a, someone who knows stuff? No, don't encourage him. He'll just try to take over. You can't stop me from taking over, John. <laughs> just ignore him. What are we going to do today? Uh... Well, I, I thought that uh, we could play a game. Okay. I thought that we could pretend that we were sheep, right? And then one of us could... I'm sorry, I don't think I can ignore this. It's just too distracting. Just... <laughs> John, you've got to do something about that. It's actually not that bad once you get used to it. Hello, fellas. Oh, hello, Sylvia. Well, how are things today? Oh, just fine, thank you. How are things with you? Oh, same old, same old. Just trying to keep things clean. Wouldn't want things to get messy. <laughs> yeah, wouldn't want that. <laughs> uh. Oh, well, I guess I'll be leaving now. Mm to do my job. Nothing mysterious. <laughs> okay, see you, Silvio. <laughs> that guy. Who is that, John? That's Silvio, that's my basement's custodian. Oh really, yeah. I didn't know your basement had a custodian. But you don't think this place keeps its shining glory all by itself, do you? <laughs> He's clearly the phantom though, right? What? No, no. The, the no. phantom wears a mask. All right. Silvio doesn't wear a mask. Yeah, but has he been here as long as the phantom has? Yes. Does he s say creepy things and stare off into the distance all the time? Yes, of course, but all custodians all right, look, do that. Here's a picture of Silvio. All right. And now... <gasps> I left the stove on. Oh, whew. Almost burned my skedios. Oh, hey, it's Bible story time with Kellen. Hey, guys. Hey, Kellen. Hey, Kellen. Hello, Kellen. Whoa! Uh, what was that? Phantom? Huh. Maybe, maybe you could talk in private. I'll call you. Will this work? Sure. Why not? I just want to make one adjustment. 
Whoa, Kellen, what happened? You look shiny. Well, that's a filter. Those are the buttons at the bottom of the screen. People use them for social media all the time. Filters make us look better than we feel. Well, they can also do this. Whoa, whoa. Ah. Do you guys smell something in here? Woo. <laughs> all right, here, I'm gonna, I'm gonna try it here. Hold okay. on. Oh, look at me, I'm so studious. Bum, 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 bum. Bum, 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 bum. Okay, bum, I think I've lost bum, control bum, here. Bum, 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 All right, filters bum, off. Bum, 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 oh. oh. Yeah, like I was saying, filters make you look better than you actually are. Here, I can look cool. Sir. Or, I can be rich and famous. Hello, I'm rich and famous. Or, you don't like where you're at? You can be somewhere else, like the beach. Or, even Paris, France. Or, even outer space. Ooh, I'm in outer space. You can be anywhere you want, and you can be any one you want. With filters, no one has to know if you're sad or angry or embarrassed or awkward. Filters can always make you the best version of you. Yeah, that's a good story, Kellen. I don't think he's gotten to the story yet. Ah. Uh. It's not really a story, actually. It's more of a verse. Check it out. God is faithful and fair. If we confess our sins, he will forgive our sins. He will forgive every wrong thing we have done. He will make us pure. You see, God wants to see when we're sad or angry or embarrassed or awkward. And he wants us to tell him when we've broken the rules or made a choice we don't feel good about. He wants us to come to him unfiltered. Even though it may be hard to be yourself with others, you can always be yourself with God because he loves you and he will forgive you of every wrong thing you've ever done. And that, my friends, puts a smile on my face. Me too. Me three. Well, I'll see you when I see you guys. Bye, Kellen. You know, I think I probably do hide my real self sometimes, mm. but I've learned I don't have to do that with God. Oh, yeah, and I've learned only text LOL to someone if I've literally laughed out loud. Otherwise, it'd be like flying, right? I guess. I have also learned something. What have you learned, Phantom? This. What? Silvio? Yes, John. I know. I left no clue. What an unexpected reveal. Ah, yes. Reveal the question. What do you talk to God about? Uh, yeah, I mean, for me, it could be anything. I tell God about my day. My hopes and dreams. My greatest fears, like antique furniture. And now, I must leave you. Wait! Are you still gonna clean here? Well, consider this my two weeks notice. Is that the only way he can leave a room? What do you talk to God about? Talk about it with each other. Or just talk about it with God. Oh, even better. And we'll see you next time on The So-and-So Show. Bye. <laughs> <laughs>
That was perfect timing. That was perfect timing. <laughs> Hi friends, my name is Maddie and I'm so excited that you are a part of Kid Point Online today. Raise your hand if you have ever struggled to keep a secret. I know I have and I'm sure a lot of you guys have as well. Sometimes it is so hard to keep secrets to ourselves and today in our Bible story we learned that we don't have to keep our secrets from God. God knows everything there is to know about us. He knows our fears, He knows our doubts, He knows our secrets. He knows everything, and today our bottom line is that being truthful with God helps keep Him close to us. God created us, He loves us, and He wants to hear from us. Make sure you go to our website at lifepointchurch.tv slash kpresources, where you can download our God Time card. That God Time card has four different devotionals that you can use throughout this week to keep the conversation going long after Sunday is over. We cannot wait to see you next week, whether at our physical location or right back here at Kid Point Online. But either way, we cannot wait to see you next week.